The nature of the universe is an ever-expanding mystery which has captivated humanity since the dawn of civilization. The notion that our universe might not be the only one, instead part of a vast network of parallel universes, stretches the boundaries of our understanding and imagination. While no conclusive evidence has ever been found for the existence of another universe, new discoveries are challenging the notion that the Big Bang was the start of creation. And as technology improves, more and more evidence for alternate dimensions, and perhaps even alternate cosmos, will be found. Such signs might exist in the cosmic microwave background, a pivotal piece of evidence in the study of the early universe. Discovered in 1964, the CMB is the afterglow of the Big Bang, offering a snapshot of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old. This relic radiation not only reinforces the Big Bang theory, but it also provides a wealth of information about the early universe, including its composition, age, and the initial conditions that led to the formation of galaxies and other cosmic structures. And hidden within this map of the young universe, the mysterious signs of previous iterations and parallel dimensions have been interpreted. One of these signs is the cold spot, an anomaly found by the WMAP and Planck satellites in 2003 and 2013 respectively, constituting an area of the microwave sky where the temperatures falls much more significantly than along its other anisotropies. The photons arrive cold because they have not been excited by the gravity of clusters in the area they've passed through en route to the Earth. On average, the temperature within this region of the microwave background drops by approximately 70 microkelvins. And in some places, the cold spot is 140 microkelvins cooler than the mean temperature of the CMB. In contrast, most of the other variances fluctuate only by around 20 microkelvin. Several hypotheses have been proposed to explain this outlier. In 2007, Laura Mersini Houghton proposed that this cold spot is a bruise from where our universe was connected to a parallel universe at the moment of the Big Bang by quantum entanglement before being separated by cosmic inflation. Elsewhere on the CMB, we find a number of so-called Hawking points, which are ring-like warm patches of photons spanning approximately one degree of the sky. These imprints in the microwave sky are posited by some scientists, like Nobel laureate Roger Penrose, to be patches of dispersing photon energy, which began emerging from various points in space at the moment of the Big Bang. According to Penrose's theory of conformal cyclic cosmology, these emissions could be the result of evaporated ultramassive black holes from a previous universe, which grew so large that they left physical imprints on the space that came after. These last surviving monster black holes of the previous universe were caught up in a new Big Bang when the universe had grown so large that distance had lost all meaning. This caused mass to malfunction and space to reheat, kicking off a fresh iteration of the universe, reset into its now present configuration. At that moment, the photon energy carried over from these evaporated black holes was released in our universe. And if that's the case, such emissions would have spanned approximately one degree of the microwave sky by the time the CMB was created, and that is what we see in these Hawking points today. Whether it's a parallel universe or a cyclical universe, the CMB seems to be dotted with indications that our cosmos might not be alone, but part of a wider plane of existence. As observatories like the James Webb Telescope and the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope continue to probe deep space, they will search for signs that the Big Bang wasn't actually the beginning of time as we once thought. But until then, the multiverse and oscillatory universe models are wildly speculative, treading the boundary of possibility because they are so popular in arts and entertainment. Thanks for watching the Space Shack. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to help our channel grow.